It's your turn. The thing that I'd like to say the most about IBIS is that it is a great community. It's uh, there's so many different labs, uh, so many different experiences that you have a sort of a plethora of options. Well, I felt like an interdepartmental program would, you know, expose me to a lot of different things. Plus, you can sort of mix, you know, your background together. The main thing I was weighing was the amount of uh, good papers that each professor had and the professors were whom I, I was interested in. So that was a major thing that the publications were a major thing. I, finally, I came to my decision on this time. Well, I saw in IBIS I had the ability to rotate in several different kinds of labs. I chose IBIS because of the options I had in the uh, labs I was able to join. But I think, you know, everyone comes in with a different background and you're not going to know how to do everything and you definitely have time to learn. And, and I, I felt like our program is definitely focused on training. You're, you know, being trained to be a scientist and they want you to learn. And it's not just about, you know, producing, producing, producing. It's a lot of the labs around here foster uh, undergraduate research in parallel with graduate research and so you've got this nice transition. You, you get a lot of different students doing different levels of research in these labs. It gives you an opportunity to not only learn things but also to mentor uh, younger um, sort of undergraduate researchers. I learned so much in my first year of graduate school um, compared to all undergraduate I learned how to <laughs> present, how to write grants, how to approach research problems in a whole other um, way, how to think differently, and um, it was really rewarding at the end. I felt like I grew a lot my first year. Um, I think the first year was good. Um, it allowed me to build friendships that I still have now, strong bonds. So through all of are complaining about <laughs> classes and paper and rotations. Um, I made a lot of friends that we are really, really close. I'm close to my right now, so I think that was good. You know, you have to make more of an effort because you're once you get in your own labs, you're not seeing each other every day in the classes, but I think, I think there's a sense of camaraderie. I felt that, you know, once coming here, once going through the qualifier, going through all of the classes in the TA, you get to know people in labs that you never would have gotten to know otherwise. You know, we have collaborations with labs that do biochemistry, labs that do physical biology and uh, uh, structural biology, for example. These are all uh, options and resources that you wouldn't get anywhere else, I think. These facilities are really accessible and they have, you know, people there just waiting for you to come and get help and really use them. Chicago is definitely um, an urban area, so it's going to be a slightly higher cost of living than some of the other programs, and even though it may seem like a deterrent, uh, I think that it definitely is manageable on the stipend we receive here. Uh, I felt that the stipend that the IBIS provides is uh, pretty good for for survival as a grad student. If I had taken um, at least up to master degree in my home country. I had to take a loan, but here um, I'm funded by scholarships and fellowships, so it's uh, it's great. Obviously, you're not gonna be living extravagantly, but it's still very comfortable. It's a, it's not just you can live off of it; you can actually kind of enjoy yourself with it too a little bit. There's a wide range of different living options that are available if you want to live closer to downtown and live in some of these more diverse neighborhoods, it's very easy to do so. The public transportation system is definitely workable. We have um, UPass available to us, which allows us to use the CTA um, at a pretty discounted price, which is great for students. And um, I, I just think that, you know, there's a lot of options available. So IBIS offers a lot of awards to the, um, to the students here. Um, some of them that come to mind include uh, this travel grant 
um, that allows students to present their works and research at meetings and conferences, so that's really nice of them. Um, there's also the Rappaport Award, which uh, allows, uh, which is given to fourth and fifth year students to recognize their achievements in their research. And um, there's a uh, career services for, um, for for graduate students and postdocs who have children that uh, it sort of helps them, uh, you know, with child care when to allow them to travel to meetings and conferences. So uh, I'm Norwegian and I'm a second year student in IBIS and uh, I like it here a lot. I mean it's an international environment and I think that's very good. There are a lot of minority organizations on the campus. Um, the Black Graduate Student Organ uh, Association, the BGSA, they have a lot of events, um, talks, seminars, they have a research conference that's coming up. I attend the activities at the uh, Latino organization. Yes. So I get to meet a lot of people and I get to um, have fun like with them and I have never felt like I'm by myself even though like my family is not here. And also it's good social wise because the international office arranged a lot of uh, yeah, different kind of arrangements for us and then yeah, it's also a nice opportunity to meet people from other countries and also in other fields and disciplines, so it's great. I think that the faculty definitely play a large role in the, the, the scientific community here on campus. The faculty and students are all very approachable, very friendly, so I'm at home.